okay we'll continue let's see i click previously i have double click on this part design so now when i double click this we are now in the part design for this particular piston we return back to the product pop up again by double clicking it so you can see we are now in SB design okay so I minimize that let's continue so now we go to how to edit now click twice on engine block part then click twice again until the pad dimension window open select reverse direction okay so let's look the engine block so let me double click this so we are now in part design workbench particularly in engine block design engine block part double click this so we can reverse the direction of this new block so as we can as you can see and i hope you can understand we also can edit the part design of any parts inside an assembly okay so here the engine block has uh, shifted okay from this location to this location okay we have done this next is part design workbench so we want we have to return back to pop of engine on top of part 3 to switch back into assembly workbench by double clicking it so we are now in the part design workbench for engine block to return to assembly design of the pop-up engine double click on this pop-up engine okay we check the document class, de class detection we also can do class detection by using its compute class icon 8.1 select the compute clash option we bring up the clash detection window the prom zone will prompt you to select the type of clash select contact clash and between all components so let's deactivate this and find the clash contact clash icon and hide this no it's not here let's look at this okay compute clash is there are two compute clash and clash let's refer to our document this compute clash so compute clash we need to select compute engine and apply two parts have been selected okay it so just means that we need to select between two parts so change this crankshaft let select crankshaft and rod apply so it is contact they show that it is contact and no clash let's see piston and this call rod too okay so that is said that there's no interference yes because it is not connected let's see pin and piston apply so it, say, it says that it is in contact so so there's another one class detection so be, select the apply button this it has contact between all components so let's look analyze flash okay between in name in different point one type contact flash between all components click apply So here we can see that it is showing between uh, parts to parts and type is contact. Okay, so I show the views. 
is relevant because it is in contact there are no clashes so this software will help you to inspect your parts either it is clash or contact Okay, as shown here we can also publish the clash analysis it is good if you can do it and show it in your report this is the icon for publish your clash analysis let's check okay, hold on let's look out this is all type no filters on value or status contact plus clash okay let's push it to desktop and let's keep safe as type so we prefer to xml so we show It will show the results. Okay, so it shows that shape and contact mesh, and you can click. Okay, so it show that it is relevant. All right, so this is the. Report for this contact clash. Play OK. Return to our documents. When you can see this selecting OK will be out in different by one under the application trees. So let's look in our Katia. We have these applications. So when we expand this, we have the result that we can click and it show again what we have. Okay, okay. Next, measuring tools. The last tool in the analyze toolbar in the is the major initial. Selecting major initial will bring up the major initial window as shown in Figure Six Point Two. You can measure the initial of an individual component and or the entire product. Above picture shows the entire assembly initial analysis. The centroid center of mass is displayed in the center initial center box as well as graphically assembly you can customize the information display in the major initial window and also you can export information as well as the so this is where we can click export let's click on major initial and click this four buff engine so this is the center of gravity positions this is the mass and this is the density because all of the part is applied with same materials so it's applied with same density let's click export okay. you can see that it's only one option report files we select report files file name for engine for initial properties Looking of safe. Okay. If we go to desktop and double click these files, you can see that it shows us these values. Piston 1 with the area, with the value, ability, mass, and also any other values. Okay. So for total of the initial value you can see at the bottom here okay let's minimize this and return to Katia software next we look at the assembly dependencies the dependencies tool is just another way of analyzing how your assembly is put together this tool is found in the analyze pull down window figure below shows how dependencies are linked together 
this tool help particularly helpful when you want to know which part were used to create a particular constraint so we can also look at the assembly dependencies let's look at the icon okay dependencies this is the icon so double click it you'll see fix one is applied to engine block question two is applied to crankshaft and engine block offset three is applied to crankshaft and engine block it actually shows how it is connected let's go to mechanical structure the mechanical structure tool is another method of analyzing the assembly figure below shows the mechanical structure tree for the assembly as you get more complex the value of the tool will become more important let's look at mechanical structure then go to analyze mechanical structure this is the piston pin engine block so it shows how the structure of this uh, assembly okay 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 let's put in the assembly so you can as also export the assembly select the export tool from the move toolbar so we bring up the export windows as shown in figure so left 12.2 to view the default export select the apply button to create the export assembly now you can select the priority button to assemble or export the assembly you can also use the mouse to manually control the explosion by dragging the scroll export button you can also customize the export button to by the menu which this will be fixed select update all to update the assembly with constraint Okay, before we save, then we look to this export assembly. This is the export icon below the manipulation icon. You can see if we fix this product, we fix product here. There is any block we can click apply. This is the first level, or this is 3D, 2D, or constraint. Let's look at constraint. Apply. There was a problem so being constrained, that may not be respected. Okay. You can now move from that with the compass. As you can see, it is maximum to 1. So we can reduce. The asphalt explode. It's constrained. What if we do it 2D? Okay, so this is in 2D. Okay, while this about with 3D. Okay, this is 3D. So it looks like it's more or better with using constraint. Okay, like this. It looks awkward with this corner over here, so we can apply 3D to the to this assembly. Okay, so if we find with these positions, okay. okay. Okay, so it is moved now but this is really clashing we also can move it one by one if you want to click update it will return to its original constraint positions so make it safe so you can save the files so you save management Select the product, save as, create a folder, save, click propagate directory, click OK. So it will save your files in one folder. So that's all.
for this tutorial.